welcome back to Something Bigger, a Nerdcast. Um, this has been three years in the making, but it's our, what, 10th episode? Um, and we are coming back. Um, I'm Emily. And I'm Kimberly. And so, uh, so yeah, so it's, it's been three years. Um, so what have, what have you been up to, Kimberly? Uh, life has been, uh, let's see what we graduated college. Um, I think, yeah, I think the last one we did was actually before we graduated and yeah. then life got crazy with, um, uh, college and trying uh-huh. to finish all our senior stuff. And mm-hmm. so uh, for me after college, I was a busy buddy with, um, uh, eventually I got three jobs, <laughs> part-time jobs. I'm not that insane. Um, One job was with a retail company and Mm. the second job was with my local church. And then the third job was with my um, local newspaper. So I've been all over the place for the last three years. Then um, it seems like boom, 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 things have been hitting quite fast. Uh, for some reason, the newspaper, they couldn't keep me on as my original position because Facebook changed its um, private settings. Thank you. Not really. And then, um, uh, so they're like, we can't pay you as much, but we'll still keep you on and pay you much, much less. So I was like, well, <sighs> money. So I stayed on yeah. for a bit then. Then I had to get surgery, so I huh, had to stop that for a while. And then about a month ago, mm-hmm. actually it was on my birthday, that I found out that the retail store that I was working at was closing down. So that was a bummer. But then, and then, um, so I kind of had the, the church job as sustaining me for the la- m- majority of the last mm-hmm. couple of years. And so just this week, really good timing. I landed a full-time job. Yay! <laughs> Yay. Huzzah! So, with benefits and better pay. So, Yay. we'll see how long they want me. <laughs> how about you, Emily? <laughs> That's the Cliff's Notes version of my life So since. How about you, Emily? Um, so, yeah. Well, uh, so, graduated college. And then um, uh, got a full-time job um, working at a bank and then realized while I was looking for a job in my field, which is writing journalism. Um, so then uh, so then I left the bank and I got hired on as a full-time writer reporter um, at a newspaper uh, in the next town over. Um, so I've been doing that. And then, um, I was, I got married, uh, last year. So, uh, or not last year, but in 2017. She actually invited um, me. <laughs> yeah. Well, Kimberly was in the wedding. So <laughs> she was in, uh, she was in my bridal party. So, um, so yeah, so that and got a house and moved out of my parents' house and, yeah, so, oh, and I got a cat, his name is Hermes, and he's a year old and a handful. <laughs> oh, in the last three years, we got a new dog, he was our dog oh, before, yeah. had passed away, uh, literally, like, a week before uh, my last semester, so, mm-hmm. uh, which was, uh, I graduated in December. I graduated in December 2014, so he uh, passed away the beginning of December. And then we got a new dog in, hmm, let me think, I think it was in August the following year, because, mm-hmm. um, no, it was in July, that's right, we got it the day after my brother's birthday, um, because mm-hmm. he was seven weeks and he was born in May, so yeah, he's about three years old now, and mm-hmm. he is a pistol, he <laughs> is, he's a very smart dog, he's a charcoal labrador his name is ezekiel we call him zeke and he (laughs) is a cutie 
and mm-hmm. he he's smart. He knows when he has you in the paw of his or the palm paws of, yeah. of his paws or whatever, <laughs> you know, the palm <laughs> of his paws, claws of his paws or whatever. He is. Yeah. He takes advantage of every single situation, <laughs> and he's very good at it. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. Pets, what can you do with them? I think most I think most animals are 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 uh, that's how they go. They 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 want they want all their love from their human and they know that they can take advantage of their human's love, so they try to trick you to doing things. <laughs> oh yeah. I mean Zeke he he knows the routine. He knows we have two bells that he rings, uh, one's in the back door, <laughs> which is where he's supposed to go outside, and one is in the <laughs> family room he just rings that just to tell us he needs to go out and so when he <laughs> rings that he's figured out that when he rings that we take him into past the kitchen and so he knows mm-hmm. if we follow him we go straight to the refrigerator and mm-hmm. he always begs for ice that's his favorite thing <laughs> which we don't mind giving to him because it's no calories mm-hmm. added <laughs> yeah and or he'll beg for a treat he doesn't even want to go outside. That's just his way of getting us to get into the kitchen. He's super yeah. scary smart. <laughs> I swear dogs, maybe cats, but dogs, at least Zeke will mm-hmm. be the bane of our existence. <laughs> oh my gosh. My cat, um, he'll try to get into our kitchen cabinets. We actually had to put child safety locks on um the cabinet underneath the sink <laughs> because he kept going Bam. in there and we have like Bam. we we have like all of our like kitchen cleaning stuff in there and we're like uh cat you're not supposed to be in there like stop <laughs> <laughs> and he'd climb in there like where's the cat we'd see the kitchen sink uh the cabinet under the sink open we're like you gotta be kidding me so we got child safety locks yeah and we joke all the time we yeah joke think- all the time we're like while in uh while in line at the at Walmart or whatever, we would see people and they'd see that in our cart. They're like, "Oh, so uh, how old's your kid?" We'd be like, "It's for our cat." <laughs> yeah, uh, so, I think Zeke has uh, just gotten past to not jumping on so, the couch. Yeah, so, so um, this is a podcast. Oh, g- sorry, go ahead. <laughs> oh no, 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 I was just saying. I think Zeke has finally gotten past that. Oh, I want to get on the couch while they're gone. I mean, we've started putting stuff on the couch, but lately we haven't, and I lost connection, so I'm going to redial, and hopefully that works. So, technical glitches uh, are fun, uh, but I was saying that um, Z has <laughs> definitely, I think we're starting to finally get him tamed. <laughs> Three years old, and he's still... Thinks he's puppier <laughs> than he should be, <laughs> but what can you do? Yeah. I mean, <laughs> they're cute fluff balls. Yeah. They get away with everything. I feel like dogs never. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, yeah. let's let's move along because we have technical so, issues. <laughs> um, but yeah, yeah. So anyway, um, enough about our our pets and and how adorable they are. Um, so this is, uh, way back when, uh, when we started this, we started it as basically a podcast where, um, we talk about TV shows we're into, movies we're into, we theorize and we have fun and stuff like that. So we're going to bring that back. Um, and since this is the first episode back, um, we're not going to do like what we did before and like focus like we're episode We're going to broaden our horizons. Um, <laughs> mainly because of how our time yeah yeah basically um because of how our time schedules work um so we're gonna basically we're whatever Whenever. whatever we fancy <laughs> about talking about um we're yeah gonna talk about i think we agree to try to whenever, at least yeah. stick to a schedule um, of once so... a month and if we happen to be able to squeeze it anymore we will mm-hmm. yeah at least so once a month that way least. you get a break um, from us so, too uh we will be coming to your ear holes Ow. i just hit my and yeah, <laughs> yeah, I just hit my oh, okay, right. okay, <laughs> recenter ourselves. Yeah, our wacky yeah, back, guys. wackiness. <laughs> wow, I'm an English major, um, and that's the best I could come up with. <laughs> <sighs> wacky wackiness. <laughs> 
it's also, oh, yeah. we're also recording this at 10 30 yeah. at night so <laughs> it's been quite the day <laughs> it's fun to be yeah um crazy so emily um, anyway so how is the weather <laughs> um how is the weather out there huh. how's how's the weather well right now i'm saying or i'm seeing on my weather app it's and 22 degrees decreasing. Oh, oh never mind. Up. It's 23 <laughs> degrees and decreasing. We're supposed to be in like single digits, um, which aren't fun. And we had and this weekend snow last weekend, and we had some snow this weekend, not as much, but um, yeah. So it's it's definitely it's definitely yeah. January. It's yeah, definitely it's... winter <laughs> where we're at. We didn't get much of a winter back in the end so. of December, so it's yeah. it's hitting us right now in this last couple of weekends. Has been fun for the kiddos mm. in um, other houses and who get no school, but you know we live in mm. a society where work is like hey, we're still gonna have work. Good luck living. So. Alrighty, so let's move along. <laughs> yeah, moving along. So um, it's been three years, and again, like we said before, like we, it's an entertainment podcast. We talk about TV shows and other um, kinds of media that we've um, uh, been interested in. Um, so, uh, what kind of movies, TV shows, video games, books have you read in the past? Uh, three years, Kimberly. Let's maybe do uh, top three Netflix shows. Top three Netflix. <laughs> um, well, a lot of the time that I have spent on Netflix, it's been a lot of catching up on some shows, like Supernatural. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, uh, shows like that. Or, uh, let's see, in the na- last three years, uh, I try to watch at least one new show that I've never seen before that... Um, Mm -hmm. may have had personal opinions about it before then I'm like I should really just Mm -hmm. check this out before I judge it so um, one that I was surprised that I actually liked was Heart of Dixie Um, Uh I didn't think I'd like that show and it was really good and um, let's see another one I watched or I mean I watched it when it was before on the air but I'd never seen every episode Mm -hmm. Um, it's not on Netflix anymore, but it was the show Numbers. Um, yeah. That was fun, because I like math, and I always uh-huh. find it cool how people can find ways, how math can solve ac- solve actual crime. Yeah. And yeah. I thought that was cool. And, mm-hmm. the, and one that I just really love, I don't know why, because I, I wish I, had, I could say that I've read the books, but I, I've only read the first one, and I, for some reason, haven't been able to follow with the other Mm -hmm. ones, but the TV series was great. It was a series of unfortunate events. That, uh, they did a really good job. The Netflix change to that. Oh, and Fuller Mm -hmm. House. I don't know if anybody has seen Full House when it came on um, many years ago. Mm -hmm. um, Back when, I mean, Mm -hmm. I think I was, I think it was airing before I was even born. (laughs) And I just yeah. caught up on reruns back in the day. But um, <laughs> Fuller House has also been a favorite of mine mm-hmm. just because it's a comedy. So yeah. that's, I would say, yeah, those are uh, probably the top three <clears throat> Netflix shows other than just kind mm-hmm. of catching up on things that I missed yeah. during the year. So yeah. what about you, Netflix? Um, for Netflix, uh, basically most of the Marvel stuff, um, that they unfortunately canceled. Um, allegedly, they just canceled them um, without telling Marvel. That's the uh, the rumor going around, um, uh-huh. which really makes me mad. So, but anyway, so uh, definitely, like Daredevil is at the top. Oh, I didn't um, realize it. Did, did they cancel at the top? Them? Yeah, they canceled it like oh. three weeks. I think oh. three weeks after it. Yeah, it premiered in October. And I never saw that. After... I tried, but I couldn't. Yeah. Oh, it's so good. I love, uh, I love Daredevil so much. He's such a. Great I character. might get into it um... eventually. <laughs> mm-hmm. So, 
Um, but yeah, so Daredevil, um, series of unfortunate events is definitely up there. I don't know if I'd say just because I just finished watching it, um, and just the, the way the ending how... was. I, I I expected I mean, a better ending, but yeah. Well, I mean, it's very similar to how the book ended. Um, okay, there are a few things different. Uh, I can't really remember. I just remember it being a little different from the book. Yeah. Um. But uh. But yeah, it was it was satisfying. Um. So um. But yeah. So there was that. Those two, and then oh, what else? Uh, Last Kingdom. Oh my gosh, The Last Kingdom. Uh, is that oh, the one with uh, Chris Pine? Uh, the Outlaw King, the movie. What? Oh, that's that's the okay. movie Outlaw um, King. Last Kingdom. Yeah. Oh. No. Um. That was pretty good. I never yeah. finished it, but I thought up uh, because I was watching it like late at night. I was working on a, yeah. a story for work and. Um. And I watched it while I was doing that, and I thought that was pretty good. But um, The Last Kingdom, it follows this guy named Uhtred, and he was born uh, a Saxon. Um, So this takes place in, like, the 800s. So leading up to the formation of England. um, And so you've got your Vikings, which are uh, the Danes. Which they're still Vikings, but they're from um, Denmark. Um, Denmark? Denmark. Um, so you have that. <laughs> and it's. <laughs> so, and it's got. Um, so, like. Don't crucify her show... if she's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> you can you Google it. It's... Yeah. <laughs> um, so, but, like, you follow uh the first king of england alfred and you follow this ki- this guy named utrid and utrid's kind of conflicted whether he's because he could he could either be christian or he could be uh viking or dane or whatever like follow the norse gods or christianity and he doesn't really know what he believes um yeah so he it follows him and he uh gets rung in to helping alfred um and by the time you get to the third season like his whole thing is like he has to keep alfred alive and he has to um ensure that his son the alfred's son edward um can take over as king um yeah and kind of get rid of you know and there's lots of battles and uh it's so good it's um, it reminds me a lot of, like, this, the show, uh, on History Channel Vikings, which is another show I've been really into here recently. Um, but, uh, it's got its own twist. And then, like, it's, it takes place, or it's based off of a book series, which I haven't read the books, but my brother-in-law has, and he said they're really good. So, um, so yeah, those, those three shows, I think, are at the top of what I've been watching. Um, on Netflix, um, but I also have Sabrina um, and um, Peaky Blinders. See, that show, and Sabrina creeps me out. I tried watch. I watched the first couple of episodes, <sighs> so good, and then I don't know the one with like the trio sisters. That just gave me the heebie-jeebies <clears throat> when I watched that, and mm-hmm. I was like. Uh, yeah. This is definitely not something I yeah. want to watch al- at home alone in the dark. <laughs> it's not. Yeah. It's definitely well, different than the Sabrina that I grew up on watching with yeah. um, and, Melissa Joan Hart. Yeah. Well, and I think like they they noted that they're like this is definitely not going to be like the the comedy. It's a much it's darker be, theme. It's, it's a much dark. Yeah. It's much darker. <clears throat> Yeah. So, and, um, uh, another one on net. Uh, oh, did you have more to say? Sorry. No, I think that's it. I think oh. I covered pretty much. I've been watching Punisher too. Um, oh, okay. Here recently, but a new season just came out, so um, I'm like three <laughs> episodes in, um, and it's really good. I think John Bernthal is phenomenal as uh, Frank Castle. So that's one yeah. thing I love about like the Netflix Marvel shows is they're casted perfectly like um 
Charlie Cox, who plays Matt Murdock Daredevil. Um, he's if you go and read the comics and then you go and watch the show and see his performance in the show, it's like it's it's down pat. And like if you go and watch interviews with him, um, you can definitely tell like he'll reference like just a random comic book. Be like, well, in this book, um, in this arc. Matt was doing this, and he had this issue as Daredevil and all this other stuff, and it's yeah. like, dude, you are a fan. Um, and I think that's one of the reasons, or one of the things I love most about the series, the Daredevil, is that everybody's a fan who is in the show. And um, I swear, they to- have to, like, whoever they cast, I swear they're like, mm-hmm. okay, you gotta educate yourself, here's a... You've got to read all these comics, mock comics, before you we can we can even do yeah. cast production. <laughs> yeah, um, which is I you know I think that's one thing like Marvel has above DC um, and like the movie universe is that like yeah. they they know they're they're fantastic. They cast actors who know what they're doing. They cast actors who have deeply like they've all like sat down and read the books. You know. And, um, yeah. which is awesome. And it makes me happy, especially because, like, um, oh, just because the casting no. is so perfect. So. Okay. Yay. Yeah. Tactical difficulties again. So you were explaining something. You're trying to finish a thought, I think. Yeah. About Daredevil, uh, or about Marvel casting. The be- Between Marvel and DC casting, it's. Marvel casting, I think, is done better because, um, just in general, like, they, the, the actors that they cast, like, they know the characters, they read the books, um, and, well, I mean, you know, that's, and two, like, they're, uh, they're, uh, lost my thought. (laughs) They're perfect, like, because if you look at... Um, Robbie Downey Jr. is Iron Man. Like, he he really is Tony Stark. You know, just in the things he says and how he acts um, in real life and then how that translates on screen. Like, it's he's Tony Stark through and through. Um, yeah. Tom Holland was a really good casting choice, I think, for Peter um, Parker the, the third time around. Um, (laughs) three times the charm but um, they eventually got something right (laughs) yeah Um, not saying that Tobey Maguire and um, Andrew Garfield were bad uh, casting choices it's just for it depends on which movie you watch (laughs) yeah I think for this particular including um, including Pete into the Avengers Marvel Universe um, I think Tom Holland is the perfect casting for Pete. Um, yeah. Because just how, like, where they have him at and, like, how, you know, uh-huh. he's in high school and um, just how he does it. And his, I think his suit, too, is the most accurate to the comics. Um, but, like... Each each spider each Spider Man or rendition of Spider Man has their own quirks. Like um, Andrew Garfield was a good Spider Man, um, just because of like how his story was told, how that story particular yeah Spider Man's story is told. And then um, same with Tobey Maguire. And like I don't know, I I've got a special place in my heart for the Tobey Maguire Spider Man because that was what I grew up on. So yeah. Um, so there's that. And, uh, speaking of Spider-Man, um, the Spider-Man PS4 game, uh, I got that for Christmas and it came out in September and, um, I played it. I beat it probably the fastest I've ever beaten a video game. Um, because I like binged it. I got home from work each night and if I didn't have anything to finish, um, that I brought home, like... I was in front of the TV on my PlayStation and playing. And she she gave us Instagram uh, updates. <laughs> I did. And Facebook updates. I did. I posted pictures from the game because it has photo mode. And so in the photo mode, um, 
you can do like Spider-Man selfies. So like, you know, I'd go, I took a, you can go to various uh, significant buildings um, that are like within like the Marvel universe. So like there's um, like Foggy and Matt's bar that they go to um, uh, in Daredevil. I forgot the name. I don't know why I forgot <laughs> the name. Um, but you can go there and you can take a picture in front of that. And then there's, uh, Fogwell's gym. Uh, and these are like located in, in, in Hell's Kitchen, New York, which is one of the districts of, uh, New York city. Cause it's so big and vast. It's divided into districts. So like, you've got the business district, you've got Hell's Kitchen, you got, I'm sure like if you're from New York, you obviously know this, but, um, we're not. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so you got Harlem. If you go uh, into Harlem. Google Maps, show me New York. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, so yeah, you have. as close as New York we're going to get. Yeah. So, um, you know, I was swinging around and I'd go to these locations and I'd be like, oh my gosh, it, this is from Daredevil or this is from Luke Cage or they've got the Sanctum Sanctorum from Doctor Strange. That, that was really cool. And Avengers Tower is in it and. Um, you can go to all, like, the big, like, touristy locations that are in New York. So, like, I went to Rockefeller Center and did a uh, photo mode selfie there as Spider-Man. And so it was, it was a lot of fun. And, like, I shared it on Facebook because I'm like, this is cool. <laughs> like, I gotta share this. <laughs> so, but yeah, the game was done really well, too, I think. And the guy that they had voicing and i think they did i think they did mocap motion capture um for the game as well um in different points and so he did uh the guy who plays him um did really good i think uh really good voice performance it was it was really fun it's just such a fun game you can just go back and swing uh swing around new york city at any time and it's uh, it's just fun so but anyway <laughs> Enough about my Marvel nerding out. <laughs> what are some uh, uh, your top three movies over the past three years? Um, let's see what top three movies <laughs> or what. Oh, oh, oh! One that I just saw re- recently. There's a lot of different opinions on it, but I don't care about the negative opinions because I personally liked it. it. Was Aquaman? I Oh, really yeah. liked it. Um, I know I'm I'm not really uh-huh. savvy in the DC verse. I, I mean, yeah. I know some stuff, but I'm not really into it as much as my friend Emily here. Mm-hmm. But um, uh, for me, I loved it. Um, mm-hmm. It was awesome. It was cool, and it was a I loved the humor, one liners, mm-hmm. and the eye candy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Um, uh, let's see, other movies that came out this, uh, last three years, a lot of them, (laughs) so Um, many movies, uh, I can't even think of anything, right, I mean, um, uh, I don't remember when the first movie, um, of, uh, Newt's Commander, whatever. Fantastic. I can't piece. think of this movie. <laughs> yes, I don't remember when that first movie came out, but that was uh, awesome too. Yeah, that came and out. All the adventure movies that have come out since then, I, I have. There's a bunches of them. Yeah. Um, we're all awesome. It, it, it mm-hmm. Just because it's adventures, I mean, they, they they touch my heart. They're all eye candy people. So. Um, mm-hmm. For me, that 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 those are. I mean, I can't really think of any movies. But uh, what about you, movies? All right, um, movies. Um, so my top three movies um, over the past three years: uh, Fantastic Beasts, the first one. Yep. Um, it was. I agreed with you there. Um, I'm wearing a Hufflepuff <laughs> shirt right now. So, like, Newt, Newt's my guy. I'm in Hufflepuff. Like, he's my dude. Um, so definitely there's that. Um, I'm 
trying to think. Black Panther. That was so good. I saw that really on good. Netflix, and it was really oh my good. gosh, it blew my mind. Mm-hmm. It was a lot better than I was yeah, yeah, thinking just, it was going to be. Yeah. Oh, I knew it was going to be good because um, I hadn't had the chance to see it in the theater uh, or in the theater. So, but then when I watched it on Netflix when it came out, and um, I was blown away. Like, I knew when we met uh, Chadwick Boseman as T'Challa in uh, Captain America Civil War that he was going to be great. And, like, I had read some Black Panther comics up and leading up into that point, and so I was like, this is this is going to be fantastic. And just the, the way the story went and the performances by each of the cast members um, was just... Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, it was amazing. Just the... It was... Ah! Uh, yeah, that's all I have to say. It was amazing. So there's those two. What other movies came out? I'm trying to think. Um, that I really genuinely enjoyed. <sighs> wow. Um, I might have to Google this. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's been it's three years is a long time to cover. Um, let's see. Oh, 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 um, 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 what's that movie? I know it's not that one. It's, it's not called Poison. It's like, uh, Venom. I like that. I like that one. That That was really good. Yeah. Tom Hardy did a very good job. Um, Tom Hardy. Uh, he's pretty. Uh, (laughs) The funny thing about Tom Hardy is, though, is that um, I've seen him in a bunch of other things. He played Heathcliff. And he's almost always hard for... He played Heathcliff in um, Weathering Heights. Yeah. Um, But I have the hardest time picking him out in other things. Yeah. Like... (laughs) um, Because, like, he's, he's such... Like, he's such a good actor. And, like, when you get the makeup and then, like voice too like he's able to change his voice up yeah so you're like wait you look familiar you sound familiar who are you and then you look it up and you're like that was Tom Hardy (laughs) like why did I recognize him but um but yeah no we just watched that last night and um uh I liked it I felt it moved too fast um but it was decently true to the character. I really wish that Riot would have turned out to be Carnage. But if they make another one, I really hope they did do Carnage. Um, which would be really awesome. Um, I love, though, how it turned into a buddy movie between, um, between Venom and Eddie. And uh, just their whole relationship. Yeah, that was great. It, <laughs> it was just really funny. It, it reminded me. I mean, I don't. I know you're not uh, much of an anime fan, but um, mm-hmm. for those people who might be actually watching this and are, mm-hmm. uh, kind of reminded me. There's this character on the uh, anime mm-hmm. show called Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. His name is Ling, and yeah. um, he gets consumed by this. Um, uh, they call it homunculi, and, um, uh-huh. and this homunculi it uh, takes over, and it's kind of like um, mm-hmm. almost like a host in a way to him, uh, or he's like a host to uh-huh. the homunculi, and every and it's so funny because yeah. you'll see them having their own in- mental conversation, like um, they're fighting, mm-hmm. arguing over each each other deciding who gets to take control of the body and uh when you think that Mm -hmm. the homunculi (laughs) is supposed to be a bad guy and at first he was but then all of a sudden he started having this um i wouldn't say attachment but just kind of started trying to understand who Mm -hmm. his host body personality is yeah and he's like hey this yeah. guy isn't it so bad. I might actually let you surface for a while. <laughs> it, that's what it reminded me of. It, so, yeah. Only Venom is—he's not really an anti-hero, but he's not a hero. He's definitely not a hero. He's more so, like a—I vi- um, wouldn't even say he's a vigilante. He's not a vigilante. He's more like all he in it um, for himself. 
Yeah, he's whatever is whatever he's feeling at the moment. Kind of whatever like that, tickles his fancy. That um, I've seen in the last three years that I'm like, oh, I know he's like. Um, Do what? I said whatever tickles his fancy. Um, he's kind of like Lex Luthor's dad from Smallville because he's like a person who's always mm-hmm. just doing whatever he can to survive perseverance or per- uh, whatever yeah. you want to call it yeah preservationalist so, um, um yeah so um but yeah no uh i thought i thought venom was pretty yeah. good um wasn't the best but i think it was pretty good and that's that's in my opinion, I think that's the the venom that we should have had in Spider Man. Yeah, not the weird not, whippy photographer that, that guy. That was venom done right. Like what the Tom Hardy movie? Yeah, that no, because that that's just not no. That was not. Yeah. <laughs> Emo Peter Parker is not venom. <laughs> hey, I blocked that from my mind. I blocked it. No need to dredge up the past. Uh, you were cutting in and out oh, again. You're cutting in and out for me. <laughs> Technical difficulties. Oh. oh, gotta love them. I keep saying that, but we're experiencing and this... them. <laughs> yeah, and this is why we record audio. Uh, we both record audio. Yeah, this is why we're poor. No, because we don't have expensive stuff to keep it going. <laughs> <laughs> but um okay movie did you say your third movie oh, anyway i don't think i did i mentioned deadpool but i wouldn't say that was my third like favorite movie that's come out in the past hmm, three years there's a lot of i was movies. googling uh, uh let's see What's moana was good <gasps> Rogue okay. One, Star Wars Rogue One. I've actually haven't uh, seen that one. Yeah, I've seen the other oh, two Star so Wars ones. I was about to say Starbucks, but that's not right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, the other two Star Wars <laughs> ones. Um... Oh, Logan. Ah, uh, Logan. I haven't seen one. that either. Oh, it's so good. Made me cry. It's made. It's been known to make grown men cry. Like, uh Oh and my god. It's like Marley and me. Marley so and me good. makes. Made my brother, who's two years older than me, cry. Of course, he just said he yeah. had something in his eye. Oh it was like onions that were non-existent, but yeah. he, I knew he cried. Yeah. But, um, yeah, yeah. Uh, I heard that Rogue One was... Yeah, Logan. Good, or, in Rogue One, yeah. You said two movies. Brain, keep straight. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, I, I know that both those movies were really good. I just haven't had time, nor the yeah means to see them yet which they are on my yeah. radar as many yeah. other things are now <laughs> I, I we I, I we didn't talk about this but it kind of goes hand in hand with Netflix but not really Netflix because um, but I just mm-hmm. want any new or new TV shows in the last three years uh, uh, I mean I personally been kind of busy to watch mm-hmm. too much TV but yeah. Like the the usuals like Supernatural. <laughs> um mm-hmm. sadly Beauty and the Beast which um we that actually started we with started. Beauty and the Beast uh, title over yeah. Supernatural and a bunch of other stuff but um that has been canceled. I mean, yeah. I can understand why because I mean the first two seasons were mm-hmm. I mean the first season. The first season was great. The first second season was, season really good. was yeah. All right, but they there's a lot they could have done with the storyline that they didn't, mm-hmm. and um, they could have mm-hmm. taken the storyline a totally different route, uh, which would have made more yeah. sense um, if they actually mm-hmm. featured Vincent being actually captured and in like some kind of cell or something of doom rather than yeah. oh this episode yeah. he's back he's angry and he lost his memory that's usually the go to um, yeah. I always. It yeah. always bugs me when a character like it either mm-hmm. gets captured or something happens where they lose their memory, mm-hmm. and because that just like yeah. takes them steps back from where they were, 
Um, Where, uh, yeah. And the third season, since the second season was what it was, the third season actually, Mm -hmm. to me, wasn't too terrible. Um, But the fourth season... It wasn't... Yeah. Fourth season at times didn't even make a lick of sense. <laughs> at times, I mean, they had yeah. <laughs> good ideas, and uh, but mm-hmm. I really wish they ended because they had to end the series because they canceled. So they only had they 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 had to come up with a resolution, even though it was kind of forced yeah. into there. But mm-hmm. I really yeah. wish they at least ended up having kids, or at least one kid. Like, cause that's what the fandom yeah. wanted, and but it didn't happen. Yeah, and that yeah. was that was a bummer. But you know, in my mind, I'm keeping mm-hmm. alive the season one. That's that's the real season. That's the one yeah. everybody only cares about. Yeah, that yeah. and then the wedding, the wedding yeah. afterwards. That's uh, other yeah. than that, everything else didn't happen. Yeah, <laughs> and um, yeah. <laughs> another show I got really into um, that also was canceled uh, was Scorpion and that was a really mm-hmm. good show I mean first episode the first mm-hmm. season I yeah, got first behind. season was still really good um, second season was good uh, then third season mm-hmm. was like why <laughs> they uh, you know love triangles <laughs> for some reason CBS loves ri- love triangles they love to um, switch things up yeah. put drama in and okay if CBS yeah. if anybody of you are watching this there are other ways to cause drama that are not triangular. <laughs> you don't have to cause a ruckus <laughs> with another love interest. <laughs> no, 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 no. I don't know. Give someone a brain aneurysm or something. <laughs> or get them kidnapped, but don't make them yeah. lose their memory. I don't know. <laughs> um, give give someone... I, wouldn't, I don't want to say give someone cancer or something, but give them a medical yeah. problem that they have to overcome, like, I don't know, diabetes or something. <laughs> or, like, you know, like, change yeah, it up. Yeah. Don't just put, oh, yeah, yeah. we're going to pluck this guy in here. They're going to fall in love. And then, oh, yeah, this, the, the person that fell in love with this person actually loves this person. And then it was like, oh, yeah, we got to kick this guy off the yeah. island so we can get these two back together because that's what the fandom <laughs> really wants. <laughs> Because then you lose all that interest, <laughs> and then mm-hmm. when you finally get the people together, the people mm-hmm. have actually stuck with the show and just kind of grin and bear it. We're like, yeah, they finally yeah. happened, and then they, the people who left the show because they're like, why? With for the triangle for the um, love triangle, they didn't get mm-hmm. to enjoy the best parts of the show. <clears throat> so, mm-hmm. and then the fourth season. They were they added even more drama, and um, I mean, characters that um, they wanted to get together got together, but um, then they're like, oh, let's cause even more drama. Let's see what we could do to t- take this match to the ultimate thing that drives them, that could drive them apart. And it's like, really? Just after they get together, you want to send them apart? Why? <laughs> what benefit does that have towards the fans? I mean, I hate to, hate to say this. I mean, okay, so you can add, you need to add drama um, to television, or to anything, really, mm-hmm. to keep the yeah. audience, connect, um, you know, uh, interested, mm-hmm. but engaged. Yes, but you don't want to have the yeah. same stuff over and over again, and then you don't no. want to drive away the audience just because you think, yeah. oh, this needs to follow real life because otherwise it's unbelievable. But yeah, I mean, you could still make it believable. Yes, some some relationships yeah. happen very slowly. Some mm-hmm. happen very quickly. So. Mm-hmm. I mean, you can make it believable um, Mm -hmm. once they get together. I mean, yeah, they might have issues, but you don't have to make it to the point where, oh, my God, they have issues. Now we can't be together anymore. Oh. Yeah. And then throw in another curveball. I mean, and then because 
I kind of it, it got to a point where Scorpion was um, on the verge of either being canceled or being saved, and it was like a toss up. Mm-hmm. So there was no way of knowing, and it was already after. Yeah. Um, it was one of the few shows that the decision was made. It wasn't made until m- about a month after the last episode had aired. So they had yeah. actually made the episode on the assumption that they were going to continue as a series. Um, and yeah. I think, okay, if we were getting a season five, okay, go with that. Cause we're going to have more for that. Yeah. But if you're kind of on the bubble and you don't know who, mm-hmm. what the fate is, give something that might satisfy the mm-hmm. viewers rather that, that could work as a, cl- you know, a work as a an ending if yeah. needed, but could also have potential of having another mm-hmm. season. So and yeah, like film two versions cool. of the episode. You know, yeah, and uh, like two endings. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I guess it's possible they didn't have that in the budget, but screw the budget. Mm-hmm. But anyway, um, <laughs> anyway, enough talking about Scorpion because I could yeah. rave, I could rave on that <laughs> for hours, and we don't have hours. Yeah. We may not even have minutes because our technology <laughs> issues are continuing. Um, but you think at this point in our lives, technology would be at the point where these these connection issues wouldn't be happening. But... Yeah. Um, another show, fortunately, that I actually just got into because my mom's friend is a big fan of it and Mm -hmm. she actually thought my my parents would like it because it is about Mm -hmm. i'm it's my family is from scotland um integrated from scotland and um Mm -hmm. so they thought she thought oh it's kind of cool because it's based on the 1700s of scotland it's kind of like our family history we can learn more about this about it through the show Yeah, I mean, my dad didn't care for it. <laughs> my mom actually yeah. <laughs> surprisingly liked it. Um, and yeah. I was hooked on it. And guess what I was watching when I was recovering from my my surgery? <laughs> um, <laughs> I was binging that show like no tomorrow. And the show is you've probably figured it out by now. But if you haven't, it's Outlander. And I am mm-hmm. hooked on it. Um, <laughs> I swear, I think that's my like my new my mm-hmm. new show. First it was Beauty and the Beast, yeah. then it was Scorpion, and I think I've, uh, this is my new one. The sad part is, is yeah. that you have to pay to watch the show, because they don't really, you either have to pay, like, your network provider, uh, like, a, mm-hmm. um, we have AT&T, you need to pay them mm-hmm. and to watch it on TV, uh, yeah. on the Stars Channel, or you have to pay yeah. the website and watch it on the website. I mean, it's $13 yeah. per month, but I'm like, I really mm-hmm. like this show. <laughs> so I'm like, I just paid the thirteen dollars while the show was on, yeah. and then discontinued, and then recontinue when the show comes back. Yeah. So uh, I have solved my yeah. biggest world problem. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, the so. um, if you haven't seen Outlander, yeah, I will warn you. Mm-hmm. I mean, it is a lot of. If you love war, blood, guts, that's a good show for you. <laughs> If you like romance, it's also hey. a good sh- it's a it's a good show for romance too. There is uh, I would say that um, there is some rated R scenes in there, so beware of yeah, that. I was gonna say, isn't it a bit wa- raunchy at points? Oh, raunchy is it's <laughs> it can be probably it's very graphic. Let's say that it's very graphic. <laughs> um, there's no when they those graphic scenes come. Sometimes they could be as quick as a two seconds, three seconds. Sometimes they could be (laughs) almost the entire episode. It just depends on which one you're watching. So I think (laughs) that sounds like Game of Thrones. (laughs) Honestly, I, I think there has to come to a point where they can't have it longer than a certain time. Otherwise it comes Mm -hmm. to become like a pornography episode or something. (laughs) But I mean, uh, they, obviously there's some, some things that they don't show. Yeah. But, and there's others that, yeah, do and you wish they didn't but yeah um and oh, there's an episode of game of thrones where they show a dude's dick <laughs> yeah they actually did once it's just random it, too yeah. it's like oh there's okay it, that's, that's like there's a they scene do in... do that oh, but it's very it only yeah. happens once or twice since in the last four seasons <laughs> it's uh, usually yeah. the um uh, a lady's boobs are showing almost all the time and then yeah that's but the same with game of thrones butts are always Anything? showing <laughs> So, I mean, 
it, it, it has a lot of romance and then a lot of uh-huh. uh, savage um, scenes, like things that you, uh, yeah. I, I will warn you, trigger warning that uh, there's a lot of, there, there's a lot of sexual abuse in the show too. So mm-hmm. it, you have to, it, it's not for everybody. Um, yeah. And some people will like it just because of the, the better romance parts of it. And some people yeah. will like it more <laughs> for the history twist. Uh, my mom likes mm-hmm. it more for the history twist. She, she it's a yeah. supernatural kind of history twist. Um, and that's what yeah. she likes it. Uh, uh, I mean, yeah. my dad, he, though he liked the kind of like the Scottish stuff part of it. He wasn't mm-hmm. a big fan of anything else. <laughs> <laughs> I just like the show. The some of the some yeah. of the scenes, I'm just like, eh. I'll watch it first once, <laughs> and then, and then afterwards, I'll be like, okay, I'll just skip this scene. Now I've seen it, I don't need to see it again. <laughs> so, but it's it, and I it's actually gotten me into reading the book, the first book, and yeah. I, it's sad, but that's the first book I've actually read since college uh, because I've just been super <laughs> busy with work and stuff. Yeah, I, I, I read a lot of fan fiction yeah. just because I can read those faster. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, but so this one is actually this book. I actually bought it first on my Kindle and mm-hmm. I just to test it out. It was like three dollars. So I was like, oh, I'll just try it out. Yeah. But then I just like I got into it, into it. And I just kept on reading and reading and reading. I'm like, <laughs> dude. I need to get the actual book of this because I actually want the physical yeah. copy. So I'm about, yeah. I, I don't want to say I'm halfway. I think I'm about uh, close to halfway mm-hmm. through. Um, yeah. And I'm glad I'm reading the books because it is, uh, it is mm-hmm. different than the show in certain areas. So yeah. the book does explain more when the show just kind of mm-hmm. skirts over things. So, yeah. Uh, and then there's sometimes there's things in the show that don't happen in the book or happen in a different order. Yeah. So yeah, it's good to have that kind of like that back knowledge. Uh, and since yeah. I've seen, uh, I'm on season four of the show, I'm reading yeah. season one of what the book is. And so I'm just like, mm-hmm. when I read it in the book form, I'm just like, oh, okay. Yeah, okay. <laughs> that makes sense now. So yeah. And uh, <laughs> those fan wiki, wiki sites really help kind of, tie things together mm-hmm. when you get confused about timelines and stuff so yeah but it's a really good series and in my yeah. opinion um but yeah. like i said it's I not for seen everybody it, it's yeah. it's but if you like game of thrones and you see like butts and boobs <laughs> and stuff <laughs> then i think you can you might be able to stomach this one <laughs> yeah no that's kind of how I was with Game of Thrones, like when, because I first started watching it. I think I mentioned this, you know, our first go around with the podcast. Yeah. But, um, I started watching it back in college, um, just after the first season premiered. Yeah. Like I found it. I, I had heard about it, and so I found it and I watched it online, and then um, I was like, oh my gosh! So I got a hold of the books and I read all the books, and so then. Um, I was like a season ahead, like I read like the first two books and then the second season came out, watched the second season and I read the third book with the, before the third season came out. Um, and then all of a sudden I got behind on the show. And so like, I just went back and watched season six and, um, uh, but the whole time I was watching the show, uh, to start, all, like, the sex scenes and stuff, like, I would put, like, my laptop, um, I'd flip the, flip it down to where, like, I couldn't see it, but yet sounds were coming through my headphones, and I was like, <laughs> oh, you're like, I, I think that's kind of worse, because then you're, pi- you're making a mental picture, <laughs> and you're yeah. just trying to, ma- yeah, you're like, oh, okay, but, and, like, they were clever, too, because sometimes they would, like, sneak important, like, talking information in, and I think the tutors did this as well, um, but, like, they they during during the sex scenes like they'd be talking about something important and it's like you guys are really clever you know the people that are turning their heads and closing their ears during the sex scene so you're trying to get us to but yeah because you're missing important information if you don't watch it (laughs) yeah (laughs) so um but but no yeah i know it's uh it's yeah but I can't, I need to get a hold of season seven now, though, um, just because it's 
gonna end yeah. in April. So I'm like, I want to be caught up by the time it airs because if uh, if I can get my hands on get get a way to watch it, if I can do like if HBO now has like a free thing or like if they have a thing through uh, Hulu yeah. at some point. You know, um, like a deal through Hulu before Game of Thrones comes out, then maybe I'll jump on that and then cancel the HBO add-on. Or add-on. Yeah, I mean, I wish, but... I hope, uh, I doubt it, though, <laughs> that sometimes <laughs> after a show, a series has ended, they'll add it to mm-hmm. Netflix. Uh, not necess- Sometimes they do yeah. it while the, sh- the series is going on, like after the first season, but, but I think... Yeah. Um, think with like shows like numbers and those mm-hmm. were all added after but then again netflix really wasn't a thing yeah. by then when they yeah. finished but maybe maybe netflix will see the value or they might yeah. be like oh yeah we're not this kind of show or this not this kind of yeah kind. but you know yeah i mean there's some nasty stuff on netflix anyway so i don't know why there's some raunchy yeah there's yeah there's some um. xxx triple thousand x's rated <laughs> stuff there um the only yeah. reason is because it pops up when i'm just looking through other stuff it just it's like oh you want to see this like no oh you want to see no no <laughs> no it's like it's like the um like twitter and tumblr accounts the <laughs> porn twitter and tumblr oh. accounts that keep like that they follow you like it pops up oh this so-and-so is following you. You check it out, and you're like, uh, Why? no, you're not. Block. <laughs> um, I, oh, speaking of Tumblr, um, that whole, I don't know if you, you haven't been on Tumblr in a while, but um, no, not really. because of some accounts started mm-hmm. sharing, like, I think from what I hear, they started sharing, like, child pornography on Tumblr. Tumblr yeah. has since decided to ban oh, they've got... all like um, sensitive content. I mean, you can still post mm-hmm. sensitive content, but if they deem it as sensitive, they will block it from. They'll make it basically private, and so only mm-hmm. you can see it and nobody else can. Now, yeah, there have been. I've had several cases like on my accounts. I hardly ever post anything that's sensitive material. Um, yeah. And it's usually, it's only image stuff. If it's like you're yeah. writing a fan fiction and it's like smutty or something, they won't flag <laughs> that. But yeah. they'll flag anything that, that if they see more than, more skin than they want, then, and mm-hmm. they have a bot that does this. There's a bot to like finds all this stuff yeah. and they flag it. Yeah. And I'll tell yeah. you, I've had, in the last week, I've had four things flagged. And not mm-hmm. a single one was showing any skin. I'm like, dude, yeah. I actually have a legit <laughs> intern or something do this because I'm tired of repealing all my stuff. But and yeah, I think it's it's kind of like YouTube. It it's woven into their algorithm. Yeah, um, which is one of the reasons why like all the stuff on YouTube is like BS because like. Um, in YouTube's algorithms, they'll go through, like, if you have, um, especially, like, if you're a news channel, like, if you, uh, look at, like, Philip DeFranco, like, he'll do, um, he'll talk about, like, stuff like, like, maybe, like, a bombing in Syria, and yeah. they'll have, you know, something about that, um, like, he'll get docked or, or because YouTube deems it, like, inappropriate or something like that and it's like no he's just covering the topic or you know someone will drop someone will let an f-bomb drop like uh and they'll demonetize and that's just how the algorithm is yeah and i think it makes it harder for um it makes it harder to trend and it makes it harder for um your content to be seen yeah um which I think is, it's unfair. So I think, like, as far as, like, the Tumblr thing goes, like, I, I know someone who had posted something, like, it was a picture of a dog, and it got flagged. <laughs> like It's ridiculous stuff. <laughs> like, um, okay, honestly, yeah. I think, this is what I think, okay, if they're going to flag stuff, and, mm-hmm. I mean, yeah, some of it needs to be flagged, because it's like, why oh, yeah. do you have this posted here? But, and yeah, then sometimes yeah, it's like, it's just like you said, as innocent as posting a picture of a dog and you're just like, oh, yeah. I see the dog's wee wee. We're, pl- we're flagging it. 
or something. You know, things, stupid yeah. things like that. And I think that they're going, because they always will con, whatever your primary email is associated with your account, mm -hmm. they do send you an email saying, yeah. we found something on your Tumblr post that was insensitive mm -hmm. um, and, yeah. or whatever you want to call it, um, the inappropriate. And so um, if you, you think that is incorrect, mm -hmm. You're more than welcome to um, mm -hmm. uh, re rebuke this statement, and then we will have an actual yeah. live human being review your um, um, your protest or whatever. And yeah, you know, to be honest, here's some constructive criticism for you, Tumblr. If you're going to mm -hmm. send everybody <laughs> an email that posts or that you think that posts mm -hmm. inappropriate content. The most generous thing you can do is at least provide the link to the post so we don't have to actually search through all of our feed to try to find, okay, which one did they, yeah. they flag? Um, because that just <laughs> happened to me today. I got a, I got a notification that something was flagged on mm -hmm. my uh, Tumblr post or on my Tumblr, yeah. one of my recent ones. And I'm going through the ones that I've shared the last five days and I'm like, none of them say that they're inappropriate so what is going yeah. on here and it's possible it might not show up until tomorrow but uh -huh. i was like really at least you could do is tell me which post so that way i yeah. could be like okay you're wrong repeal <laughs> yeah oh what is the world but coming i to? think yeah <laughs> They need to, they need to, um, I think between Tumblr and YouTube, like they definitely need to, and I know YouTube's been trying to rewrite their algorithms to, um, to not, you know, ding so bad. And I think yeah. Tumblr needs to do that too. They need to take a look at the algorithm and be like, okay, uh, what can we do better with this? Yeah. You know, it's where like harmless things aren't being flagged, um. So, but I think that's just hours and hours and hours. <laughs> hey, college students, um, if you want an internship, go to YouTube <laughs> and go to Tumblr headquarters. <laughs> you might not even have to leave your own house. <laughs> You're welcome. So. <laughs> um, but yeah. Okay, so. we, in TV shows, did you talk about TV shows? I don't think I did. I think we went on a wild tangent. That's that us. Went, That's what we are. That is, that is. Um, but no, uh, so what was it? It was what, three TV shows? Two, three, one, whatever. Um, no more than three. They probably, by now, okay. people have probably stopped listening, but, you know. Yeah. <laughs> if you have We're just if rambling. You're, if you're listening at this point... Tell me if who you, you are. We might off. send you a virtual cookie. <laughs> um, but yeah, no. Uh, some TV shows over the past. Well, I talked about Daredevil um, earlier, so I won't do that one again. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's hard. <laughs> what What have I watched? Um, I got into oh. uh, The Gifted um, on Fox. I got oh, into okay, that. Yeah. But, uh, mutants, X Men. Oh, um. So there's that. Uh, Vikings. I mentioned that earlier. Oh, weren't um, you? Didn't you watch Lucifer? Was it Lucifer? I I actually just started watching that. Okay, because like, I know that three. you were um helping Twitter like you're tweeting like revive Lucifer, revive Lucifer, or something like that. Or you were yeah. You say originally oh, it was had with, um canceled it. It was with time. Is it timeless? What? <laughs> I don't know. I might be talking. I mean, I yeah. am talking, but uh, I'm yeah. talking. I don't know, even know what I'm talking about. I'm like Corey Matthews. Most of the stuff I say is wrong. That's a boy meets world. But no. Um, yeah, no. Uh, timeless. That's another one. Um, I know I did tweet about Lucifer, I think, when there was a whole campaign about saving Timeless, and it was a whole thing about how shows... Uh, shouldn't shows shouldn't be canceled so fast or something like that when they've got a big fan nah. following. I don't know. So um so yeah so uh, I've mentioned the gifted timeless Vikings. Um. Yeah, there's just there's been a lot of shows I think really good shows that I've seen yeah. in the past three years just even in the past year like um. 
you know, I've discovered so many different shows and then trying to Oh my gosh, it's so cuz they're like still airing. It's like so I think and that's one thing I love about having like Hulu and Netflix is that and other like streaming yeah the CW because like, you're able to go back and watch so it on much your own on the time. online even though they do only five mm-hmm. episodes at a time yeah. it's I just have to keep in mind okay don't yeah. ever go past five weeks <laughs> and I started yeah. recording yeah. Supernatural on the TV at home uh, TV. Mm-hmm. Um, Oh, I'm I am, so behind on Supernatural. Well, you see, it's, it's, for me, I, I watch it better kind of like when I'm binge-watching it. Um, so for like yeah, the whole se- first half of the, this this most recent season, I just let all mm-hmm. what, like, the eight or nine episodes record. And then these last couple of yeah. weeks during their winter break, I've been binge-watching them to get them down. And yeah, uh, the only there one I go. kind of try to keep it current with is Flash, just because... Um, yeah, I can't so record on anything on my parents' TV because they already have the the max number of recordings on the that night. So I just have yeah. to. My sister will always be like, "Did you see Flash?" Because she loves it more than me. I like the show; it's good entertainment. But yeah. she absolutely adores, loves it, and yeah, uh, and she, that's one of the things she always always talks about. Mm-hmm. Did you see Flash? Like, no, not yet. Why? Yeah, she's like, "You have to see Flash. I need to talk to you about Flash." Okay. Two weeks later. Did you see Flash yet? No. I'm a whole se- <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I'm a whole season behind season and a half behind. I think I tried to watch Elseworlds the yeah. big crossover. It's, you but need to know what's going know. on ahead of time. Like I don't watch Arrow. Yeah. But I watch Flash and I watch Supergirl, so I have been mm-hmm. able to keep current with those two shows and with those two yeah. shows kind of bring the bulk of what what's going on in Elseworlds. Uh, mm-hmm. I have to say with Arrow, um, yeah. they were, I mean, they, they did contribute to the, sh- to the, to the crossover, but it mm-hmm. seemed like it was more focused in yeah. Barry and Supergirl's kind of um, area. And um, yeah. Well, I think too, cause Ollie doesn't yeah. really mess with that and a luck- lot. Yeah, um, and luckily, um, I think they, unlike, I mean, unlike the last crossover where it seemed like you had to follow yeah. the show to really understand what was going on, like follow all four shows because they had it with mm-hmm. Legends of Tomorrow, and Legends. Um, but yeah. I liked it with the three shows only because it was easier to follow, and mm-hmm. um, they yeah. didn't make it where it was. If you have never seen, let's say you only watched Supergirl and you didn't watch mm-hmm. the other two shows, but you kind of yeah. you know because of the other pa- the past mm-hmm. crossovers, you, you know who these characters are. Yeah. Um, they at least mm-hmm. didn't make it where you're like, wait, what? Who's that? Because in the last yeah. one, there were so many new characters. That you're just like, uh, I don't know who mm-hmm. you are. I don't know who you are. <laughs> Especially with Legends, because yeah. they had a lot of characters in that show. Well, and most of the characters on Legends were introduced yeah. in Arrow, so, um, but, uh, except, with the exception of John Constantine, who is on this season, who had his own show on NBC, and then was rudely canceled, <laughs> <laughs> she ever has so feelings. rudely canceled, and Matt, <laughs> I do have feelings, I, I love John Constantine, he is one of my favorite characters that has come out of the DC universe. Um, and I've like I've read his comic books. I've seen the movie with uh, Keanu Reeves, which was okay. It wasn't the best, but it was okay. Um, but like the Constantine TV show was phenomenal. Like one of the best iterations of the character I've ever seen. And Matt Ryan was <laughs> perfect. And you can tell he enjoys and he's voiced him in all the the animated yeah. DC shows um too here recently. And um also if you're fans of Assassin's Creed, Matt Ryan voices um Edward Kenway from Black Flag. Uh so even yeah. more reason. And he uses his natural accent <laughs> in that. And he uses his natural accent in Constantine. He's Welsh. Oh, that's a that's so, a pretty accent. and Constantine is Welsh. <laughs> so it's all the yeah. So it's so perfect, and he's just so dreamy, and it's like ah, 
He's perfect. I don't know if you've seen the episode, but I do have to praise. It was from last season of Supernatural, but I think, yeah, Mm -hmm. it was from last season. And it was, it made the highlight of Mm -hmm. my life because it brought together a show that I grew up on. And this show was when they Ah. cartoonified Sam and Dean into the Scooby-Doo universe. And that was epic. I don't know. Did you see it? Did you see it? That was the best. Yes. I I watched it the day after it aired because I think I had a meeting or something that night. And that was one of those episodes that um, you could watch it and not even see the other episodes before. It was easy to follow. Well, and that's... Yeah, and that's one thing I love about Supernatural is that they have that Monster of the Week format. They kind of went away from And they from kind it of have while, in season, but, what, this um, season, but every once in a while they'll bring back, okay, a new monster. Let's forget yeah. about all the crap that's going on right now. <laughs> yeah, and that's, like like I said, that's one of the things I love about Supernatural. Like, you're able to just jump yeah. in at points, you know, and be like, oh, okay, you know, this is, I don't... There's plenty of episodes where if you're feeling like you don't want to watch, like, a story episode, you can go back and watch an episode, you know, the the Monster of the Week episode. And, um, you know, without having any context. And that's that's one thing I love about Supernatural. I think that's one of the things that has kept it alive so long. Um, And they keep gaining. So, that and the the actors. I think they're on (laughs) season 14. And I think, if I'm correct, this is their last season. Unless it's 15, maybe? Mm, I don't know. No, they haven't. Oh, because I, I could have sworn that they had already, they had been um, to that point where they're deciding when, whether, maybe they were just in deciding whether or not to mm-hmm. renew or kind of finish the show. Because it has, it's had a long yeah. run. And I mean, I'd love it if it continued, yeah. but I, I feel sorry for the, feel... the actors. They're probably like, yeah. their they, lives, they have lives. They need Mm-hmm. They're probably um, huh. they have lives, so mm-hmm. yeah. I I I feel sorry for them because they're <laughs> like, dude, bro, I love you. I love working for mm-hmm. you, but I've got kids. Yeah, <laughs> I've got a family. <laughs> I I need I need my life yeah. soon, and yeah, I so I feel like eventually they're gonna be like, yeah, yeah, we've done this show too long. Let the young kids handle it now. Yeah. <laughs> Well, and two of their supernatural <laughs> spin-off. They're hitting their 300 yeah. episode um, in February, so that's right. Mm-hmm. I heard that they're going to have a special. Yes, guest. I'm so excited. Jeffrey Dean Morgan's coming back, and like I've been catching up in the Walking Dead here recently, and so um, I got a little Negan Funko Pop for Christmas, and I'm like, ah, I get so excited. Um, because Megan's a great villain. Yes. Um, and it's Jeffrey Dean Morgan. This family reunion. Yes. Family reunion's going to be an interesting yeah. one. Yeah, so um, apparently it's really emotional, too. So I'm excited about that. I'm, yeah. If anything, I'm going to make sure that yeah. I am watching. Um, hopefully I don't have to be caught up because I'm, like, several episodes behind. But um, you're several seasons behind. <laughs> You're not several episodes. Oh no, I am several episodes behind on Supernatural. I started watching this past season, and I was doing really good at watching it okay. like every night. But, um, but yeah, no. So, um, but yeah, I think though, like, if they're gonna end, I think season fifteen would be a good. And I know, like, they had said, like, in interviews and like at conventions, you know, stuff about. You know, if we can get to 300, you know, that would be great. And then we'd think about yeah. it afterwards. Because, you know, it's 14, 15 seasons, four, 15 years, 14 years on a show. Like, that's that's a long time, you know. Most shows don't even reach up to 200 no. episodes. Some don't even get up to 100 yeah, episodes. Yeah, so, so I think it's really big. And so, especially, too, like, for Supernatural, since, like, they were... Like, they were always, like, on the fence of being canceled um, up until, like, yeah. five years ago. Um, yeah. So. Which is surprising because they're doing so yeah, well. Yeah. Yeah. So, I think 
Um, you know, if they were to end, I always thought that season 13 would be the perfect because then unlucky 13. Oh yeah. 13. So, but then they went on with this one and, um, which, you know, I'm thankful for. And it's kind of gotten back into the groove of where we were in like the first five seasons. Yeah. Um, which really makes me happy. Um, I love Jack. Yes! He's my favorite. One of uh, my favorite newer characters. I'm so, so glad that they made him out to be, uh, you know, like a, a little teddy yeah. bear. That's basically yeah. what he is, a teddy bear. He's my spirit yeah. animal. He's, He's so very cute. innocent-minded. Yeah. And I and um, I just love that he, they didn't make him out to be like his bio yeah. dad. And um, I will say that I think it was a couple episodes ago. Um, I, I, I was going to say it was this last episode, but mm-hmm. then again, I'm a couple episodes <laughs> behind. So it was actually a couple episodes ago. Episodes ago. It was a very touching mm-hmm. uh, episode where um, I don't know how far you got. I, think I was like um, episode four. I don't remember. But uh, we know that there was like that whole apoc- apocalyptic yeah. war in their other that other yeah. world that, and then all of a sudden. Lucifer's like, I'm back, yeah. and he got crazy, and and then he stole Jack's grace, yeah. um, and um, then Dra- Jack has been, had been struggling because mm-hmm. of that, yeah. um, struggling mentally, physically, and um, uh, mostly physically. Yeah. Like it's been, it took a physical toll on his body because yeah. he's a nephilim. That's half his grace is half of who yeah. he is, and. Um, and his body couldn't, you know, couldn't, can't sustain on just human. being human yeah. alone. So for the last four or five mm-hmm. episodes, they've been working on trying to find a, another way for him to survive. Yeah. And it was just really uh, sad. The first, yeah. like, ten minutes of the episode, um, he passes away. And I was like, no! <laughs> I'm like, you can't take him away! You can't! And... Uh, and then, so they, um, I mean, it's supernatural. No, no one dies. That for long. Ex- um, unless you're Jeffrey Dean Morgan, who died. <laughs> but he's and then somehow s- coming back. For like, <laughs> <laughs> and, and then you have, um, uh, Bobby who's died and they come back as a different character, but yeah. same character. Oh, I love but, Bobby. Um, I love Bobby. It's supernatural. You never know what you're going to get. And... Uh, I'm glad that they didn't. They decided not to write Jack mm-hmm. off. That they decided, hey, oh yeah, we've got him dying. We need yeah. to find out, find a way to keep him on because he's everybody's spirit animal and he's, he's so he's, precious. He's the baby of the show. And they love having. Uh, I mean, he is everybody. He is the whole. Any if I, I mean, I have always thought, okay, if these dudes ever settled mm-hmm. down and have kids, I would want their kids like to Jack, be like yeah. Jack. And. Jack is basically all yeah, three of their kids. Let's be honest. Um, he has three dads. <laughs> yeah. Cass, three dads. Cass, Dean, and, and Sam. <laughs> yeah. And it it was just heartwarming to see. I was surprised to see how Dean reacted. Dean, yeah. I feel like, I mean, every, Dean, both, all, Dean, Sam, and Cass were, all three of them were affected by, mm-hmm. um, by Jack's death. Yeah in one way or yeah. another and they reacted differently and um but with dean being so hard on jack the mm-hmm. very first couple of episodes of jack's existence upbringing yeah. um existence it was so touching to see him actually be the one to kind mm-hmm. that jack saw as more of a father figure than the other two yeah so yeah. yeah, so the Jack, yay Jack, you stay. I hope Jack stays on yeah. that show for as long as the show is uh, goes on. I think even he is everything. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, I think. But any, yeah, yeah, it's uh okay. Anyway, so, um, so yeah, we need to move along. So before this um, technology cuts out <laughs> on us again, um, quickly. Any um uh, any books you want to rave about? Any books I want to rave about? about. Um, narrow it by two. <laughs> narrow, <laughs> narrow it to two. I know you read a lot, That's so, so hard. narrow it to two. Um, Ready Player One. Um, um, movie came out last year, year 
or before, something like that. Um, but uh, apparently the movie's really bad. But I've been trying to finish Ready Player One. Um, I've just been really busy. But I highly recommend that. Um, that's one that I've thoroughly enjoyed. It's video games. It's 80s references. Mm-hmm. It's um, or just lots of pop culture references in general. It's great. It's fantastic. Um, the other one... Uh, what else have I read? Oh, the mortal instruments and the clockwork, or the the mortal. My sister loves. Yeah, those books. by Cassandra Clare. Yeah, um, I buzzed through those in the past three years. Those um were really good. So, I just can't get into yeah. them. But I've seen. I mean, eventually I might try mm-hmm. it out. Um, but two books for me. I mentioned Outlander. Yeah. Uh, the first yeah. book, um, and that's the one I've been currently reading. And I did, <laughs> I did technically mention that I haven't been reading mm-hmm. much since um, yeah. college. But every once in a while, I'll pick up the seventh Harry Potter <laughs> book and read more out of it. <laughs> Eventually, I'll get that finished. Um, I find it under my bed every five months, and I'll be like, oh, I'll read about another three, four, five <laughs> chapters, and then I'll put it under my bed, and it gets forgotten for a year. I mean, uh, I got that book when it came out and 2007. I'm still trying. I'm still, I'm still 11 years later. I'm still working on it. Eventually. I mean, I read all through the other ones yeah. quickly, but because I saw, I guess because I saw the movie first mm-hmm. for this one, because it came out, uh, it came out pretty quickly when the book came out after the book came it out. It was and 2000, I think. 2010, 2011. Oh, okay. So, well, no, I remember. That's right. I my brother had mm-hmm. the books, and um, I got mine f- from like a book fair mm-hmm. or something in high or in school, yeah. and um, and I started reading it mm-hmm. then. And just because between when you're a lit major, you have no time yeah. to read on yeah. your own, <laughs> or either that, or you choose to read on your own and not read the material you're mm-hmm. supposed to read. Yeah. <laughs> So it just depends, <laughs> but yeah, um, I probably have to say, sadly, the last book I have read, mm-hmm. and I, I, ne- I thought I would never say his name again, was uh, by William Faulkner, <laughs> <laughs> and that was the worst class ever. What was we had a Faulkner class? Oh my god! And was I think it was? Um, oh, I don't even. I blocked that class out of my mind. I, I don't even remember what the titles were. <laughs> I remember um, Sound and the Fury. Oh, I remember um, Sound and the Fury. Oh, is it as I no shit? It wasn't as I lay dying. There was, was that, that one. That yeah, one. that was one of them. I think that was the one that. Anyway, a Faulkner book. Name what you please. We probably read all of them <laughs> with our teacher. We probably did. Um, so yeah, the <laughs> um. I, I'm going to work on reading more. I'm, that's my goal. One of my goals this year Same. is to actually read more because I, I read a lot of fan fiction, but I want to actually start reading yeah. books again just because it's, it's a different yeah. feel. It's, um, and, um, okay. So we've jabbered on <laughs> and on and on for, well, it was actually for like last, out to almost two hours, but we've had some technical glitches, so, so it might. By the time this is all it's cut, probably, it's maybe yeah. an hour and a half. It'll probably be about an hour and a half, or less so, than. Um, but or it, less than. Who or knows? More than. We don't know. Who knows? We've had to start and stop, <laughs> start and but stop. But if you, <laughs> yep. If you have made it to this point, thank you for listening yes, to you. us uh, ramble <laughs> on about nerdy things. Um. We really enjoy it, mm-hmm. and uh, we're glad to be back. Yeah. And we're really tired, so that's probably why we sound <laughs> not as enthused. Yeah, it's like midnight <laughs> um, at this point. We're like, yeah. Yeah, it's it's actually midnight. We started this at 10. Yeah. We planned for it. No, night? Was it 10? Yeah, it was about, about 10. Because, We started yeah. this. And, and then we had technical <laughs> issue, and then we had another technical issue, and then um, we had, like, I think seven technical <laughs> yeah. issues. So it's been a long it's night. It's been a very, yeah. And um, 
So thank you for listening. If you actually did listen, if you didn't, um, we're just talking to ourselves (laughs) and that's also cool. But if you've made it to this point, um, next time, which will be next month, we don't know when or next time, whenever that is, uh, we will be discussing why don't you take it away? Um, yeah, so when we started this podcast, we had the, I think we mentioned that earlier, the a fan fiction that crossed over. Um, something yeah, bigger. Something bigger, and it crossed over the TV show Beauty and the Beast, Supernatural, and like a dozen other like Smallville, yeah, Smallville Arrow, um, <laughs> Vampire, Vampire Diaries, Diaries, Originals. <laughs> yeah. Originals. So it crossed, it was this huge, uh, massive crossover. <laughs> Um, so we could probably fit a lot more shows in there if we wanted, but, um, (laughs) but yeah, so we had, we had that and we never really finished it. We kind of abandoned it because of, um, life. Life. (laughs) So, uh, we're going to talk about what our plans were because we know some of you, um, some of you listened to the podcast and read the fan fiction, um, before, so we're going to kind of talk about what our end game was for that. And speaking of end game, we're also going to be speaking, uh, talking about um, Avengers Infinity War, our theories, uh, the Avengers end game uh, trailer and our theories with that. Um, so it... and oh, yeah. sorry. And if you're watching this right now, we want you to send us your theories about Avengers in the comments below. Um that would be great for us to kind of read them off and be like, "Ooh, I like this one," yeah. or something like that. So, so I just thought I'd throw out yeah. that out there, make it more interactive. Yeah, we want your guys' <laughs> opinions, and in. it might actually show that people are watching <laughs> us. Well, listening. listening. To we it. don't really have video yet. Yes, that's that's on our mm-hmm. to-do list. So we got lots. We just are poor. <laughs> So, but um, we've got lots in the pipeline um, for the coming year for this podcast, and um, we're really excited to be back. So, um, those of you who listened to us before, thank you for coming back to us um, as we come back to you. And those of you listening for the first time, welcome to our madness. So, um estranged madness estranged madness oh. rambling you'll never know you'll never know what you're gonna get <laughs> because you'll never know you might have a plan but then you know plans derail when you have technical <laughs> issues and then you're like oh let's talk about this instead <laughs> so. so yeah anyway we're rambling yeah, now we're just gonna we're but... just gonna keep rambling and it's gonna fade to nothingness <laughs> If you want to keep not listening to our rambling today, but in the future, if you want to keep, we should just call this the something, something rambles or something like that. Yeah, something rambles. The rambling. (laughs) Rambling Something rambles. I don't know. know. But uh, if you want to continue listening to us in the future and uh, then hit that subscribe button also, that way you'll know when we have a new video Mm -hmm. out. Or don't, whichever. <laughs> um, and also, when you hit subscribe, make sure you click the little bell so you'll be alerted when we have a new video out. Um, uh, yeah, and yes, if you yes. like this video, hit the like button. <laughs> so. And also, follow us on Tumblr. Tumblr, Twitter. Um, Twitter. Links will yeah. be below. <laughs> All the links that you could possibly want will be included <laughs> on the, um, dis- the, the description. In the description. So, box, so. I... <laughs> yeah, so I am Kimberly. And I'm Emily. Thanks. And we are something bigger or something rambles, something rambles. whichever one. Whatever. <laughs> oh, we're up. Bye. Bye.